After successfully defending his World Heavyweight title at No Mercy, AJ Styles steps up for a one-on-one -on -one opportunity. Tonight on SmackDown, Drew McIntyre defends the World Heavyweight Championship against the phenomenal AJ Styles. That is coming your way in tonight's main event live from the Capital One Arena in Washington, D.C. Tonight, the road to Clash at the Castle next month kicks off, and we are kicking things off tonight with Prince Pretty, Tyler Breeze. It's going to be a great night of action here in the Capital DC. Let's kick things off. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from seasonal residencies, weighing in at 212 pounds, Tyler Breeze. Well, Tyler Breeze is coming off a loss in the first round of the Cruiserweight Classic just a number of weeks ago, and you can witness the CWC continue tomorrow afternoon live at 3 p.m. Eastern time as the quarterfinals of that tournament will proceed. Ricochet battles Tyler Bate and more tomorrow afternoon live at 3 p.m. I want to thank you all for joining us here on SmackDown tonight, hot off the heels of a very successful back-to-back -back night live premiere event this past weekend for SmackDown's No Mercy on Saturday. Raw's Unforgiven on Sunday it was an amazing weekend, so thank you for joining us this past week, and thank you for coming back here tonight in D.C. I want to remind you that channel memberships are available. If you want to show that extra support, hit the join button down below. Receive a couple of exclusive perks, just $1.99 per month. You can show that extra support right here for the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel. Let's kick things off here on Friday Night SmackDown. Prince Pretty, Tyler Breeze, looking to build some momentum for himself here on the blue brand. This is a man who was one of the faces of NXT at one time. Can he start to climb the ranks and become one of the faces of Friday Night SmackDown? But this man, obviously not in a good mood after the events of No Mercy this past Saturday night. A man who has caused a lot of anarchy in the world title picture, walked away from Baltimore without the big gold belt. And his opponent from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 220 pounds, Austin Theory. Austin Theory very well may be the singular reason why we even had a five-man elimination challenge this past Saturday night at No Mercy. And Austin Theory, after all the chaos he caused, interfering in number one contenders matches, brawls back and forth with the rated R superstar Edge. Still unfinished business between those two men. Austin Theory coming up short once again and not able to leave No Mercy as the World Heavyweight Champion. But after what we saw, not just at No Mercy, but over the last month and change here on SmackDown, you gotta believe that the business between Austin Theory and Edge is still yet to be settled. And we're gonna need a one-on-one -on -one meeting between Theory and Edge in the near future to finally put those issues to rest. Nonetheless, Austin Theory's got his hands full with Prince Pretty Tyler Breeze tonight here at the Capital One Arena. Still to come in your main event, AJ Styles has challenged Drew McIntyre, and McIntyre has accepted the World Heavyweight Championship. It's on the line tonight here on SmackDown. McIntyre, Styles, one-on-one -on -one in your main event. Should be a great night of action, as always is. We fight on Friday nights, and Austin Theory given the veteran Tyler Breeze a fight right now. A lot of similarities between these two men, but Austin Theory looking to use Tyler Breeze as a stepping stone tonight. And what I'm sure is a matchup he is looking to put him in line for a future World Championship opportunity. But you gotta wonder after Theory came up short at SummerSlam in the one-on-one -on -one match against Drew McIntyre, and then of course being eliminated from the world title match this past Saturday at No Mercy, how many more chances are left for Austin Theory to leave with the World Heavyweight Championship? Nonetheless, it's all about getting the W's inside of the ring. You want opportunities, you gotta earn it. And Tyler Breeze wants an opportunity for himself. Remember, T. Breeze was a participant in the Cruiserweight Classic Tournament a number of weeks ago. Came up short in the first round of J.D. McDonough. And as Breeze comes off the top and drops the missile drop kick to Theory, Tyler's gotta be looking at this matchup as a big time opportunity to not just get back in the winning ways, but possibly put himself in line for a future championship opportunity here on SmackDown. Austin Theory trying to say otherwise. The fight gets taken a ringside, and Austin Theory not interested in those affairs, sending Breeze right back inside of the ring. I want to remind you that the 
season premiere editions of Monday Night Raw and Friday Night SmackDown coming your way next week. The first Raw and SmackDowns of the fall season. Raw will be live at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. Live premiere event this coming Monday and next Friday night. It'll be the season premiere of SmackDown, another live premiere event at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. More to be announced on that SmackDown event later this evening. It's Austin Theory taking the fight to Tyler Breeze right now. Austin Theory has been a, a loose cannon for the last few weeks on SmackDown, to say the least. Remember, he interrupted that match between AJ Styles and Randy Orton. Took out Edge in the backstage area at one point. Austin Theory and Edge were brawling away just last week, back and forth all around the arena. Again, Theory quite possibly the sole reason why we had that five-man elimination match this past Saturday night at No Mercy. At the end of the day, Drew McIntyre outlasting them all and continuing forward in this legendary world title reign that we have witnessed since February at WrestleMania. 2023 has really been the year of the Scottish Warrior. Will it all come to an end later tonight? When McIntyre puts the gold on the line against the phenomenal AJ Styles remains to be seen. Meanwhile, Austin Theory taking Tyler Breeze down and he may be out off the knee into the cover but Breeze gets the shoulder up. Not too much enthusiasm in that kick out though. Some damage done over Prince Pretty. Also, Theory better keep his foot on the gas pedal because if not, Tyler Breeze may find a window of opportunity as you see right there, counter out by Breeze and taking Theory off his feet. They go for a quick cover. Will that do it? Not just yet. Austin Theory coming to this match with a little bit of an edge tonight. Fired up after the events of No Mercy. Tyler Breeze looking to catch Theory, making a mistake and catch him with a three count at some point in this matchup. And Breeze is really starting to get rolling here. Big time super kick out of Prince Pretty. And going for another cover. Will this be the one? Not just yet. Breeze is eyeing up an opportunity at whether that be the Cruiserweight Championship that he was searching for in the midst of the CWC. Maybe Theory's got his eyes on Cody Rhodes in the United States Championship. Or maybe, all, or excuse me, maybe Tyler Breeze wants to shoot for the stars, trying to work his way up to challenging for the world title. He's a veteran of the ring. One of the men who helped establish the NXT black and gold brand many years ago. Now back inside the squared circle, Austin Theory, the aggressor. Gut wrench suplex and down goes Tyler Breeze. Cutting off the momentum that Breeze was starting to build the last couple of minutes. Austin Theory looking to make an example out of Tyler Breeze tonight. An absolutely vicious boot to the side of the dome. Washington DC trying to rally behind Tyler Breeze, but Austin Theory ain't having none of it. Theory is laser focused tonight. Back-to-back -back live premiere events, SummerSlam, No Mercy, and back-to-back -back major losses for the 2023 King of the Ring winner. Tyler Breeze gets taken down, and Austin Theory has got his eyes locked on Prince Pretty. Kick to the gut. And now, Tyler Breeze going face first into the cover. And Austin Theory picks up the victory. Well, Tyler Breeze giving Theory a fight tonight. But Theory came out with a game plan and executed it to perfection. Laser focused is the man from A-Town. Looking to climb the ranks yet again and earn a future championship opportunity. Here is your winner, Austin Theory. A win for Theory tonight. But will Theory be one step closer to challenging for gold? But he cannot forget about the Rated R Superstar because there's still some unfinished business with that man. Is Edge going to be on the neck of Theory for one more round in the coming weeks here on SmackDown? The next time we come your way with a live premiere event, a special joint production of Monday Night Raw and Friday Night SmackDown. We are going international. Cardiff, Wales, Principality Stadium. It is WWE Clash at the Castle. And it is coming your way Sunday night, October the 22nd, live at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. 
don't miss this international extravaganza as Raw and SmackDown present Clash at the Castle. Well, for the first time since stepping inside the steel cage with Braun Breaker last month on SmackDown, the show off Dolph Ziggler back inside the squared circle here in the Capital One Arena in Washington, D.C. And looking up and down the card, Dolph Ziggler's got his hands full tonight, except for a one-on-one -on -one collision with the ring General Guther, who has been on an absolute collision course since losing the United States Championship last month at SummerSlam. This past Saturday night at No Mercy, Imperium victorious in the six-man tag team match against the Mysterios and Johnny Gargano. Guther pinning Dominic in that matchup after an impressive and downright dominating performance. Imperium in tow tonight, and Guther out to make another statement to the Friday Night SmackDown locker room. And his opponent, representing Imperium, from Vienna, Austria, weighing in at 297 pounds, Gunter! Ever since losing the United States Championship at SummerSlam in August, Gunther has been on a tear here on SmackDown. There's just something in the eyes of the ring general, something in the performance from bell to bell, added aggression, added focus, as there's been through all of Imperium. Just last week here on SmackDown, Ludwig Kaiser picking up a big time singles victory over Rey Mysterio. Very well played into the momentum into that six man tag team match Saturday night at No Mercy. Which again, Imperium was extremely victorious in. But now tonight, Dolph Ziggler rested and recuperated after the injuries that took place in that cage match with Braun Breaker last month. Finds himself back inside the squared circle with certainly no easy opponent standing across. The man in the trench coat, the ring general, Gunther. Looking to make another example out of the show off as Friday Night SmackDown continues from the Capitol and Arena in Washington, D.C. Seemingly, Dolph Ziggler, the fan favorite here in Washington, D.C. Will that crowd reaction be enough to will Ziggler on as this matchup is underway on SmackDown? Ziggler starting out hot with a couple of closed fists, and Guther just rejecting the show off's high risk maneuver. And here's where Guther already starts to just tap into that dominating presence, which we have seen to the absolute fullest extent just over the last number of weeks alone. Luther has added a new level of aggression. Out to remind the SmackDown locker room that just because he is no longer the United States Champion, just because he has one blemish on his record since joining the blue brand, doesn't mean anything changes. Guther trying to prove he's still the most dominating man without a championship or not here on SmackDown. Well, Sigler, on the other hand, just trying to get back in the winning ways and have a successful return to action tonight. But once again, Gunther just denying the show off of even getting a slither of momentum. Johnny Gargano, Dominic, and Rey Mysterio felt this firsthand. It was a very loud performance. The WWE Universe and the SmackDown locker room took notice of it. No mercy by Imperium. Dominic Mysterio was in there with Gunther for... A good majority of the matchup and a big time power bomb sent the six man tag to a close. And now Dominic's got to go wrestle Johnny Gargano tomorrow afternoon in the quarterfinals of the CWC. Nonetheless, Guther going for a shot. Ziggler going, looks like he was going high for a Famouser. Rejected again, and now it's like Ziggler set in the corner. Guther is just picking apart Ziggler here, the veteran of the squared circle. Wait a minute. Watch Dolph. Dolph obviously a little bit fresher coming into this match. You gotta wonder if there's any ring rust on the same side of the coin. Gunther just rejecting him again. Dolph cannot get going here tonight. Gunther, just like we saw in our previous bout between Austin Theory and Tyler Breeze, is one of the superstars who has been laser focused as of late for one reason or another. Out to make some noise here on Friday Night SmackDown. Ziggler are all tied up in the ropes. And the ring general having his way with Dolph tonight. Just 
beating them from pillar to post. Everybody in the SmackDown locker room better take notice. And counter by Dolph. See if he can finally get going here. Another reversal by Guther. Again! Several chops to Ziggler. And Dolph has got to be feeling that one. Oh, there's a counter by Dolph. Question is, can he take advantage? Famous sir by Ziggler. And Dolph smart to go for the quick cover. See if he can knock off Gunther, but only a one count there. Ziggler going high again. Gunther says otherwise. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, Gunther's going right for the kill. Going for the chokehold here. And Dolph Ziggler saved by the ropes. Gunther itching for victory. Oh, wait a minute. And immediately goes right into this dragon sleeper. And you notice the torque in the back of Ziggler. Guther wrenching Dolph apart. And that's a tap out and an absolutely emphatic statement made by Guther. There is quite possibly no man more intimidating and no man more dominant. Not just on SmackDown, but in all of WWE right now than the Ring General. Here is your winner. Ludwig Kaiser and Giovanni Vinci surely in welcomed company in Imperium with the ring general, Gunther. That is a dominating and intimidating trio. After the events of No Mercy and here tonight, Gunther continues to make some noise here on SmackDown. The Cruiserweight Classic Tournament continues tomorrow afternoon at 3 p.m. Eastern Time. The quarterfinals featuring Dominic Mysterio one-on-one -on -one with the whole shebang, Johnny Gargano. And also coming your way tomorrow afternoon, it is Monday Night Rolls. Big strong boy, Tyler Bate. One-on-one -on -one with SmackDown's human highlight reel, Ricochet. These last two matches in the quarterfinals of the CWC coming your way live at 3 p.m. Eastern time tomorrow afternoon from Hammerstein Ballroom in Manhattan, New York. The action continues tonight on SmackDown as it's been hot and heavy all night long. A lot of statements being made to say the least. As the road to Clash at the Castle kicks off, women's division action is on hand. Raquel Rodriguez set to go one-on-one -on -one with Zoe Stark here tonight on SmackDown. And it has been a very interesting week in the women's division. Of course, Saturday night at No Mercy, Shayna Baszler defending the WWE Women's Championship against Candice LeRae. It was a phenomenal matchup. But in the end, Shayna Baszler retaining the title, tapping out Candice inside the squared circle. But just moments later, a story really being written as Monday Night Rolls Nightmare, Rhea Ripley arriving on the scene at the SmackDown Live event. Of course, with the Money in the Bank briefcase in hand, Rhea Ripley cashing in the contract, going one-on-one -on -one with Shayna Baszler. And in that prompt-to contest, in the end, the Eradicator, Rhea Ripley leaving Baltimore, Maryland, the new WWE Women's Champion. Of course, Sunday night at Unforgiven. For Monday Night Raw, we saw a great contest between Asuka and Becky Lynch. Long-awaited rematch between those two women. Becky Lynch picking up the victory on that night. Rhea Ripley was already back in action on Monday Night Raw this past week. Is the new WWE Women's Champion. Another successful victory there. So, very interesting reek across the board in the women's division. With Rhea Ripley on top of the mountain, I'm sure Shayna Baszler going to want her crack at the Nightmare. Try to get her championship back. Becky Lynch from Mother Night Raw building some momentum. And with this matchup on hand, gotta wonder who is gonna be next to step up, or I should say first to step up to the new women's champion in the women's championship reign of the Eradicator. With Clash at the Castle coming your way Sunday night, October the 22nd, live premiere event from Cardiff, Wales, Principality Stadium. It's going to be a big night of action, and I'm sure every woman in the division is going to be looking to make their name on that marquee and stand across the ring from Rhea Ripley for the Women's Championship. If Zoe Stark keeps this, keeps this up. She may be building enough momentum to carry over and becoming the number one contender for Rhea Ripley and the Women's title. Zoe all over Raquel Rodriguez since the opening bell. 
All the tools to be a success. We have seen Zoe Stark. Absolutely go toe-to-toe -to -toe with some of the best of them here on SmackDown. Raquel Rodriguez has as well. And this woman who was a part of the Money in the Bank ladder matchup where Rhea Ripley won said briefcase is looking to find her opportunity. Now, wait a minute. Here's Raquel in the corner. Big time dive down on Zoe Stark's rib cage. Raquel Rodriguez. The size and the strength advantage, obviously, in this matchup. Zoe Stark, the striker. A little bit more of the speed and agility. Contrast to Styles here tonight on SmackDown, but who is going to have what it takes to get the three count? So to come tonight in your SmackDown main event, the World Heavyweight Championship on the lines. The phenomenal AJ Styles challenges the Scottish warrior, Drew McIntyre. Raquel on the outside right now is trying to wear down Zoe Stark with this bear hug. So he can't give up on the outside. He's got to take place inside the ring, but Raquel can certainly do some damage. So he's breaking the hold. Oh, man, it sent Raquel right into the barricade. Hard shot right there. Now Zoe off the apron. Taking down Raquel. Throwing caution in the wind, and it worked out for Zoe Stark that time. Referee at a count of seven as both women back inside the squared circle. So we start charging. And scissors takedown. So he could be near a victory here. Great series of maneuvers on the outside. But wait a minute, Raquel with some strong forearms and could be going for a Tahana bomb. Into the cover goes Raquel. And that's a wrap on this women's division contest. Well, Zoe Stark gave it her all. Very impressive outing by both women. But in the end, Raquel Rodriguez, the size, the strength, the power, awards her with a victory. Big time to Hanabam in the center of the Capital One Arena for the one, two, and most importantly, the three. Here is your winner, Raquel Rodriguez. Well, if Rhea Ripley is looking from challengers from SmackDown, she may have to look no further than Raquel Rodriguez, who I'm sure is itching for an opportunity at the WWE Women's Championship. Next Friday night, it is the season premiere of Friday Night SmackDown, a live premiere event at 5 p.m. Eastern time. And what a week it is gonna be in the WWE and what a night it's gonna be on Friday Night SmackDown next week as we crown the number one contenders for the new World Tag Team Champions, Butch and Ridge Holland of the Brawling Brutes, as Agado Del Fantasmas, Cruz Del Toro, and Joaquin Wild are set to take on Ludwig Kaiser and Giovanni Vinci of Imperium. We saw the events of No Mercy, Shotzi picking up the victory of Bianca Belair, but the score is far from settled. Next week, the ante is up. It is no disqualifications between the EST and the ballsy badass of WWE. No Mercy rematch, the stakes couldn't be higher. And next week in the season premiere of SmackDown, the United States Champion Cody Rhodes has issued an open challenge for the United States Championship. Who will Cody contest and who will challenge him for the US Gold? Find out next week live on the season premiere of SmackDown. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the World Heavyweight Championship. And it is main event time here from the Capital One Arena in Washington, D.C. And the World Heavyweight Championship is on the line. The phenomenal AJ Styles is in the house. You remember last month on SmackDown, AJ Styles went one-on-one -on -one with Randy Orton to originally crown the number one contender for Drew McIntyre's world title. That matchup was interrupted by Austin Theory, which then led to a series of events that all led to no mercy this past Saturday night in the five-man elimination matchup. Unfortunately, AJ Styles was the first man eliminated in that contest by way of the Scottish warrior Drew McIntyre. 
That just didn't sit right with AJ Styles. Styles walks right up to Drew McIntyre for what we understand earlier today. Challenged them with all due respect to a matchup for the World Heavyweight Championship tonight. And there's one thing we know about McIntyre, that he's been a fighting champion, and he's certainly not one to back down from any challenge. So Styles gets his wish. Not only does he stand across for McIntyre tonight on SmackDown, but the big gold belt is on the line. Will tonight be the night that McIntyre's legendary reign comes crashing down by hands of the Phenomenal One? Certainly a big fight feel here tonight in Washington, D.C. as the World Heavyweight Champion commences here on SmackDown. Seven nights from tonight, it is the season premiere of the Blue Brand for SmackDown of the fall season. It's gonna be a loaded occasion as you just saw. But it's a massive main event on our hands right here, right now. As the man who won the world title back at WrestleMania in February and has defended it against so many greats ever since. Waltz is in the SmackDown tonight and looks to contest AJ Styles for that very big gold belt. McIntyre has turned away Seth Rollins, Austin Theory, John Cena, Braun Breaker, Edge, Randy Orton, and of course AJ Styles in the midst of that five-man elimination challenge. But will Styles' one-on-one -on -one contest with McIntyre tonight be the key to victory? I'm gonna take you on a little history lesson here. The last time Styles and McIntyre went one-on-one -on -one was in April of 2022 in the finals of a number one contenders tournament for the WWE Championship. AJ Styles defeated Drew McIntyre on that night a year plus ago and went on to become the WWE Champion. Styles obviously confident that he has what it takes to beat McIntyre one-on-one -on -one from bell to bell and have that victory lead him to success. But all this time later, McIntyre a different man than he was last year. That was well documented on his road to WrestleMania. And now Drew McIntyre looks to continue his pursuit of becoming an all-time great. And Styles looks to leave the Capital One Center with the World Heavyweight Championship. It's go big or go home in tonight's main event on SmackDown. Introducing the challenger from Gainesville, Georgia, weighing in at 200. 18 pounds, the phenomenal AJ Styles. And his opponent from Ayr, Scotland, weighing in at 254 pounds. He is the world heavyweight champion, the Scottish warrior, Drew. With as impressive as McIntyre has been throughout this year, you can't say the championship isn't in any jeopardy tonight. It's been a long time since the World Heavyweight title has been defended here on SmackDown. But tonight, AJ Styles looks to bring home the gold. And the house that AJ Styles presumably built, the blue brand, he looks to win the World Heavyweight Championship. Big fight feel in tonight's main event. The bell has sounded and we are underway. Styles McIntyre one-on-one. -on -one. Gotta wonder who's gonna get the early momentum here. And it looks like Styles going for it early. McIntyre going gut first on the knee. Obviously McIntyre, wait a minute, wait a minute. Styles, Styles wants the win early. Submission hold locked in. Got the cross face in on Drew McIntyre. Looking to tap out, possibly pass out McIntyre in the early going there, but Drew not having none of it. Your Styles very, very well may have picked his spot tonight. A very mindful eye, if you will. AJ, as we mentioned, the first man eliminated in the five-man elimination challenge just past Saturday night at No Mercy. McIntyre winning the matchup was there all the way till the end, battling it out with Theory and Edge in the final few minutes. McIntyre obviously more fatigued coming out of that match at No Mercy than Styles. And if Drew is not 100% tonight, Styles may be able to take advantage. But when you see maneuvers like that, the strength of McIntyre, sit out, powerbomb, 
Gotta wonder if it even matters if McIntyre is 100% tonight. To let adrenaline and his will to be World Heavyweight Champion fuel him till the end. We've seen it done before out of Drew McIntyre, but the same can be said about AJ Styles. This is truly a matchup that could go either way in tonight's main event. Styles bringing McIntyre in the knee to the rib cage again. Maybe trying to take out the wind of Drew McIntyre. Continuously doing that long enough in this matchup can keep down Drew McIntyre's will to succeed for sure. The clash at the castle coming up at the end of October. Cardiff Wales, McIntyre obviously wanting to go back to his homeland as World Heavyweight Champion. But AJ Styles looking to spoil what could be a homecoming for Drew here tonight. AJ looking hot in the early going. McIntyre showed a fury, a flurry of offense. That gut wrench power bomb, but AJ Styles is all over Drew. Attacking the rib cage with the cross face and now the leg. AJ's just trying to pick McIntyre apart, body part by body part tonight, limb by limb. And off the neck breaker, and Styles is really rolling in the early moments. Into the cover. Trying to win the title. McIntyre kicks out. I think Styles knows he's not going to get McIntyre to give up so early. But enough near falls could possibly get in the psyche of McIntyre. Also allows McIntyre to use more energy, having to kick out time and time again, which is only going to wear down the World Heavyweight Champion. Styles sending McIntyre out of the ring. I don't even know if he meant to that time, but the momentum of Drew sending him over the top. On the outside, nothing's going to go well out there. And Styles, my goodness, big time neck breaker to the World Heavyweight Champion. You want to keep down the Scottish Warrior, you got to be able to dig down deep in the bag of tricks. And that's what Styles just did. Big time offense by AJ as McIntyre runs right into the ring. Ring apron there. Just trying to shake the cobwebs off and Styles breaking the count, but that gave McIntyre a little bit of space. Shake off the cobwebs as we mentioned and get back into this matchup. McIntyre not looking to see his world title reign come to an end. Just a few days removed from possibly his most impressive victory at no mercy. AJ on spaghetti legs on the outside and McIntyre coming off the apron with a big time clothesline using his body as a weapon there on the smaller yet more agile competitor in AJ Styles. If we had a count of seven, McIntyre could easily retain the championship on a count out, but we know McIntyre doesn't play the games like that. To get the job done in between the ropes. That is how McIntyre has done it ever since WrestleMania when he won the World Heavyweight title. With the cover there, and he gets the two, but AJ not going to allow the pinfall and the loss for the phenomenal one just yet. Opportunities like this don't come around any, every day of the week. AJ had an opportunity at no mercy. He's lucky McIntyre awarded him this matchup tonight. AJ Styles falls short tonight. You may not know in the next time. AJ is going to find himself competing for the World Heavyweight Championship on SmackDown. You got to take advantage when the opportunity is right in front of you. Kick down the door. But McIntyre may be riding a wave of momentum throughout this year that is just too hot to be stopped. AJ on the outside. McIntyre going to the air and comes crashing down on the Phenomenal One. Big time offense by the Scottish Warrior. As McIntyre now sending AJ back inside the squared circle. And Drew could be looking to bring this matchup to a close off that high risk, high maneuver to the outside. Tilt a world backbreaker. AJ Styles to be feeling that one on Sunday morning. But off the Glasgow kiss into the cover. Oh, but AJ reaching out, grabbing the rope. Styles saved by the ropes that time. McIntyre with the big time Glasgow kiss headbutt. AJ Styles bell rocked, obviously, but enough wherewithal to reach out and grab the ropes. Enough wherewithal to counter whatever McIntyre had in mind that time. It's Drew getting set right on the turnbuckle pads. 
Now AJ muscles up McIntyre. Big time neck breaker on the knee. Styles may be near a victory. The champion's down and out. Well, AJ not going for the cover just yet. Realizes what kind of man McIntyre has been throughout this year. What kind of warrior Drew is. And now AJ's off on the apron. Phenomenal forearm, and it hits flush. We're gonna have a new World Heavyweight Champion here on SmackDown, not just yet as McIntyre gets the shoulder up. Styles hit the neck breaker. Styles hit the phenomenal forearm, yet McIntyre somehow survived. And that has been a testament to Drew McIntyre's World Championship reign throughout 2023. Surviving the best of them, outlasting everything that has been thrown at him and coming out on the other end. But the bell hasn't sounded yet. McIntyre's got to get back into this matchup. AJ Styles doing some serious damage off the phenomenal forearm and the neck breaker. McIntyre's got to be hurting, especially after being the last man standing at no mercy. But does Drew have enough left in the tank to battle out right now? Battle from underneath and take out his challenger this evening. AJ just ragdolled off the apron that time. Now McIntyre on the middle buckle. Big time hammer. One of those tomahawk chop it looked like near the end there on the cranium of AJ Styles. Now McIntyre starting to get the ball rolling in this world championship match, but Styles says otherwise. That may have been McIntyre's best hope right there. Started getting the ball rolling as we mentioned. After AJ Styles with the neck breaker and the phenomenal four, but now with the cross face locked in yet again in this match. McIntyre's close from the ropes, but the pain may be too much. He may not have it in him to reach out and break up the submission hold. McIntyre taps, we got a new champion. No, able to roll out of it. The strength by Drew playing dividends right there. And a suplex takes Styles off his feet. And what a great main event tonight here on SmackDown for the World Heavyweight Championship. And don't forget, Raw and SmackDown season premiere events next week. Monday, we are live at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. Next Friday, we are live at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. Now, Styles off the kick. The pendulum's momentum starting to swing back and forth between Drew and the Phenomenal One. World Championships on the line. Styles getting sent to the outside. Not by will, but by force of the World Heavyweight Champion. Now McIntyre eyeing up the phenomenal one. See McIntyre a little bit slow to capitalize right now. Obviously feeling the fatigue of the World Championship battles. Sending Styles into the ring steps there, trying to make the phenomenal one feel the same fatigue that the Scottish Warrior may be feeling at the moment. He's looking to bring AJ back to the ring. Styles says otherwise. Looking to keep the fight on the outside or at least bring McIntyre back inside the ring by his own accord. Oh man, taking out those tree trunk like legs of McIntyre. Take out the legs, you take away McIntyre's best weapon in the Claymore kick. Maybe what Styles was intending right there. Now AJ. All over the world champion, not allowing distance unless he deems it necessary. Back inside the ring, and Styles again taking out the knee. Styles looking to eliminate possibly the Claymore kick of Drew McIntyre, knowing we're getting in deep waters of this matchup and trying to take away McIntyre's best weapon. Styles into the cover again. Will that do it to win the world title now? McIntyre's heart still pumping. Blood still flowing through the veins. And Drew not looking to leave Washington, D.C. without the World Heavyweight title. And AJ Styles came in with a blueprint tonight. Looking to execute it to perfection. McIntyre may be surviving, but he's certainly not thriving under this attack by AJ right now. AJ may have had may have McIntyre's number at the moment. McIntyre may just be surviving, and AJ Styles may have the world champion 
Weakened state. Wait a minute. Drew behind off the counter. Going for the reverse suplex. McIntyre showing signs of life. But he's got to capitalize here. Send an AJ to the ropes. AJ blocks again. But McIntyre throws a big time forearm. Oh, wait a minute. Drew going for a submission hold of this time. A Kimura lock from the Scottish Warrior. Oh, but Styles, you see how easily he shifted the leg of Drew. The injured leg of McIntyre not helping him off the submission hold. As AJ went low again, McIntyre with the leapfrog. Business is picking up in your main event tonight on SmackDown. AJ rolling to the outside, realizing the fire is starting to burn and Drew McIntyre to retain the world title. And AJ once again gets taken to the outside of the ring as McIntyre's all kinds of fired up here in Washington, D.C. AJ down on the outside, McIntyre dropping the cactus elbow. Right to the heart. Possibly crushing the wills and the dreams of the phenomenal AJ Styles. AJ down and out, and McIntyre's heading to the corner. And he's gearing up. Brock Lamar kick. McIntyre into the cover. No, AJ Styles gets the shoulder up. McIntyre with the Claymore to no avail. But AJ's obviously hurt. May have kicked out off pure adrenaline and a Glasgow kiss by McIntyre. Will that be enough? It is. McIntyre retains the World Heavyweight title. Well, that was one hell of a contest here tonight on SmackDown. AJ giving it his all and at several moments almost had his ticket punched for the World Heavyweight title. But in the end, the Claymore and the Glasgow Kiss lead us to an end. Here's your winner, and still World Heavyweight Champion, the Scottish Warrior, Drew McIntyre. Drew McIntyre's amazing reign atop of Friday Night SmackDown as the World Heavyweight Champion continues. AJ Styles got the one-on-one -on -one match, but not able to take advantage of it. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, Randy Orton, Randy Orton from behind. Attacking Drew McIntyre, oh, wait, he's got the world title. And we saw this out of Orton a few months ago. Oh, history about to repeat itself here tonight in the Capital One Arena, the world title over the dome of the champion. Randy Orton is done waiting in line. He wants his one-on-one -on -one opportunity. No more triple threats or five-man eliminations. Orton's coming for the top. Randy Orton sending a message to the World Heavyweight Champion Drew McIntyre. Thank you for joining us here tonight, and we'll see you next week for the season premiere of Friday Night SmackDown. Face on when I chase like that, yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back. I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat, gonna see me rise, you can hate on that. I don't play both sides, don't need no cap, I'm a rock.